guys i hope you're all well and having a lovely week so far today is friday and me and Yuren are going on our first date night since being in australia technically we have been out for dinner before um our friends came over and we literally popped about 10 minutes along the road and we had a nice dinner together but this is our first official date night going out and i'm so looking forward to it we obviously moving here we don't have the family support that we had back home that we could just pop out to the cinema or go out for dinner or go out on a nice date night obviously moving here that's one of the sacrifices that we've had to make however we do have lovely friends that we trust and they are coming over tonight to look after the kids I mean, to be honest, the kids will be almost probably in their bed anyway. Um, so everything will be done. It's just really we need somebody to sit and be there for them and just watch over them. So, yes, we have our friends coming over tonight and we are heading out to a place called Lumia. Lumia, I think I'm saying that right. And we're going to see a band. So they are a Luke Combs tribute band. We tried to get tickets for Luke Combs. He has been in Sydney the past couple of nights and we just could not. I felt like we were going to get scammed and he was completely sold out. And we tried to go through like various websites. I think it's called Ticket Tech here, um, where you are like completely protected and nobody wanted to do it. And I just felt like we were going to get scammed. So we gave up on that and then I came across this tribute band. They're called Ross Webb and The Rusty Track, I'm sure. Um, and they're doing a tribute for three nights, for obviously for Luke Combs, and we're super excited. So the, he completely sold out as well, but I contacted the venue, a place called The Beer Shed, and I contacted them to ask if they could pop us on the wait list, and they came back with two tickets. So we're going tonight, I'm super excited. So last night I obviously done my tan, I like to get nice, I like to feel nice when I'm going out. So I've done all my tan last night, washed it off this morning and I have moisturised my skin. And I don't have anything on my face. One of the things I love about being in Australia is the fact that I never wear foundation over here. However, I do use this moisturiser. Um, it's honestly amazing. Obviously it's got SPF 50 in it as well. And yeah, it's just a tinted moisturiser. But I mean the coverage is quite good, I'll show you. And it's one that I would recommend. So look, isn't that so good for a moisturiser? It's like just enough for what you need. So yes, I really love this. And I mean, I bought that in April and there's still like, my goodness, it's basically full. You don't need a lot whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I've got this on my face, done my eyebrows and I've put some mascara on, but that's all I'm going to put on for just now and then later on I'll just wash it all off and put my full face on for going out. However, my hair, I'm so annoyed. Last night, obviously I washed it in the mo yesterday morning and I usually put it in my heatless curler. Like, I should have put it in last night because then the curls are so good in the morning, they, they stay in so well. But I fell asleep and I haven't done it and I'm so annoyed. So I'm going to try and put this in the now. I have my spray, so I'm just going to use my leave-in spray. Um, I'll dampen it first, put some of that in, put it in really tight. And then hopefully by kind of two, three o'clock, it will be nice and curly. I mean, it's really straight just now. This is my hair natural. Um, but if I curl it with my actual like curling wand, I feel like the curls just fall out. So I'm hoping that with this, I mean, they stay in for like days with this. So I'm hoping I can put this in and yeah, it will last. It will give me a nice curl anyway. Let's try and put this in and I'm going to try and see if I can actually go out because I need to go to the shop later on and pick up our food shop. Um, no, I'm just collecting it from direct to boot. So Hopefully I can get away with keeping this in. Um, we'll see. So I'll go and dampen my hair and then I'll try popping it in. Okay, so I mean I don't I don't want to make it too wet. I usually just have it a little bit damp. So that should be enough. And then yeah, that feels fine. And then this is just leave-in spray. 
with keratin protein in it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's okay. I've used it a lot. It smells amazing. This should be enough now. Right, and then my hair has this funny pattern where it's not really in the middle, not really at the side, but I always find if I put it in the middle pattern when this goes in, it sits nicely. Like that. Pop this in the middle. That on the top. And then basically I just take each section, wrap it round and then grab another section. And then wrap it round. I personally like to do this quite tight. And then obviously when I let this go, it is going to loosen up, but that's fine because once I wrap it around, I know it's going to be tight again. Just wrap it back round so that it goes nice and tight. And then I personally like to tie it in the back like this. And that keeps it nice and tight like super tight I can feel like I've had a facelift I am going out later on but I mean it doesn't look that bad it looks like I've just got a hair band in so just heading out to get the shopping I've just left this in I feel like when you're in Sydney nobody will even blink an eye they're all too busy with their heads on their phones anyway but it doesn't look too bad I'm going to collect the shopping I'm going to let the kids play at the little park for a little while and I'm thinking I might go in and get a couple of drinks for tonight. So I have mentioned before, but you can't buy alcohol in the supermarkets here. It's like a separate shop completely. Um, so I might pop into Dan Murphy's. Um, I'll see. I think I'll do that. But anyway, yes, let's go. Yeah. This is Dan Murphy's. This is where you get basically any drink you want. Um, now, where are we going, Isla? Here. Let's have a look in here. Hmm. I feel like this may please my male subscribers. That made it sound like I have only fans, which I do not. Um, what are we after? So we're after a pale ale today for Ewan. And now the one he had before was something about Sydney. That's it, Sydney Brewery. He likes this. So we'll pick up a set, a set? What do you even call that? And then I am gonna go for a little cider, I think. Now, I actually flip between recorder like and Copperberg, and I actually don't know what one I like better. But I think today I'm going to go for Copperberg, and I'll get strawberry legs. That's my favourite. So these are two for eleven dollars. So it would be rude not to. That's everything collected. Oh, Dad! Thank you. Thanks so much. Yes,
now that my makeup's done, I'm going to actually put my outfit on first. Um, so I've gone for this Zara kind of over shirt, kind of denim jacket. Um, with these little like diamante <laughs> trim on it. And yeah, so I'm going to go for that. It's very oversized. And then I got this in cotton on. So it's a, it's a, jump, a jumper, a t-shirt dress. Um, and then I'm going to wear it with these tights. Now I know these look really brown, but they're more tan when they're on. Um, and these sparkles, which I love. These are my favourite tights. Um, and then these boots I will wear as well. Um, these are knee high, actually super comfy for the height of them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try this on. I haven't actually put the outfit on yet, so I don't know how it's going to look. But we'll put it on just now and see. And then I will take out my hair and hopefully... It all goes well. So these are the tights now that they're on. Are these not just done in? Honestly, my favourite tights ever. And every time I wear them, people always compliment me on them as well. I think just because they're so sparkly. But yeah, love them. And as you can see when they're on, they're not as brown, just more tan. Um, so yeah, and then I've just put them on with this t-shirt dress, um, which doesn't actually look too bad quite like it. Um, I might put a waist belt on, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to take my hair out just now actually, just see how it's looking, put my boots on, check the full outfit and then yeah, we'll see from there. So it's not too bad. It's not exactly how I had hoped it would turn out, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. And then I'm decided to wear the jacket over my shoulders. I feel like it just goes a little bit better. And then these are the boots. 